So, bam, right there. There we go. Uh, we go label those where it goes uh, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, and then back to the page uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 10, 11, 12, 13. That's as far as I can go. Let's do the picker. All right, so this is somehow going to translate onto this. Okay. Now I need to start picking points that I can uh, translate. Uh, the first points I'll probably want to do are just like the straight edges of, I'm going to modify this a little bit. This should like tail out a bit like this, I think. Yeah, like that. Like that. Okay. Uh, I'm going to pick, say, four points. Boink, 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 boink. Right, now, the original drawing, of course, this line and this line are parallel to each other. Okay, this and this are parallel. Okay. On my graph paper, when I translate it, they should diverge. They should go away from each other, right? They should diverge. So this point down here looks looks like the top edge of B1, right? like the top edge of B1. So I'm going to go to B1, the top edge, about two thirds over. That's about the, that point right there. So this point, this point, the same point. Uh, how about this point here? That looks like the top edge of A3. A3. Ooh, that's that really goes right. Yeah, sure is. Top edge of A3, right, right about there. This point, this point, same point. Okay. How about this point up here? Oh boy, this is here. Here we go about like that. All right, about the center of I is back on 12. The center of I12. Um, no, 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 is that right? Really? Yeah. And like the sort sort of left side of I back on. Oh, okay, so I twelve find the left bottom left corner is I twelve. Okay, so right about there. Okay. How about this point? Uh, it's, it's also an I. Interesting. Okay. Remember these are gonna start out looking kind of wonky, but it's down here at the bottom of nine. Bottom of nine. Ooh, that's way down here. Right yeah, about there. Okay. So I'm going to line up these uh, lines. Now, straight lines will still translate to straight lines. Okay. okay. Uh, need a longer straight edge. Oh, okay. So pretty close. Know that, okay. and then let's see. Okay, this point right here, too close. Okay. Huh? Okay. See, that should diverge a little bit more. Yeah, okay, kind of does a little bit. Let's spread that. Okay. Right. Then, oh. Um, now, if you want to add some more points to the circle shape, you don't want to get this exactly right. Let's see, I see I'm just barely misses the corner, bottom left corner of B2. The B2 is like right about here. Okay. And uh, let's see, this one goes to kind of nearly misses the center of B3. B3 misses the center of that thing. Okay. So then, find this out. So that's that piece. Okay. Not my hook. Uh, my hook goes okay, down the corner of A1, actually extends outside that a little bit. I brush this up against see, A2, like that. Goes through, say, A2 on the right side, about like that. And then back into, see, B2, kind of the top left corner, roughly like that. Okay. Probably pretty close. Oh, somewhere thereabouts. Um, let's, how about how about this uh, so this middle piece here? Let's see, this is at E5, kind of the middle bottom left corner of E5. E5, this middle B5, I don't know if it's probably right up there. Hold on a minute. E5, bottom. 
And then this piece here, so it goes through D8, looks like middle is D8, D8. Oh, that, that's way off. Why would that be? I missed something. H. That's uh. Hmm. Right, I guess. Yeah. No. Let's go with what I got, I guess. Right. So E five, E five, see like that. Right. Probably gonna do something kind of like this sort of. Right. Got a couple of lines that uh, parallel on my original page should uh, yeah, it should kind of diverge. I, I really don't think they should look as parallel as they do. They should kind of diverge more. So it's not the exact, but be all right. So, like this. Okay. Right, this will sort of do something like that, like that. All right, how about for this top piece? Um, this is doing something like this about. So my handle is going to just go off the grid paper. Okay, so we ran out of paper for, for that part. That's all right. All right. Got the spiral that connects in the middle. You know, if the spirals are evenly spaced, then I know on my perspective paper, they're gonna have to be a little closer together uh, up front and then kind of spread out as they get further and further back would be kind of how it goes. Okay. Now I just, you know, at least that's the theory of how this should work. Also the theory would have said that. Okay, so now let's see how close this is on page. How close I get this. Okay, so the original picture, this picture is for in class first, and I'll turn this for anybody who might be watching this video in the future. Okay, so if you guys in class, does that look? Yeah, see how I was saying that like these lines should have diverged on that. See, it looks like they're, they're getting too close together to just really pop out of the page. Um, let me go back and edit this a little bit. So, yeah, make believe it look built that this is what it should have done something more like. Should diverge a little bit more like that. Yeah, maybe I'll do it the other side as for like even it out a bit. Take two. Let's see if that edit uh, made this look any better. Yeah, I think think a bit better there. Yeah. So, all right, that worked all right. Yeah, this got like a like a three D uh, like spring scale. Oh, and then you guys online watching the video version of this. It's the original, and then now really um, to get this exactly right. Remember this. this one exact point where this should like really pop out of the page and uh, work ideally. And that exact point has to do with, well, if you look at the perspective paper, I mean, this is supposed to represent some flat ground, there would have been some camera shot that would have gotten like these lines to be, I find it um, in the perspective paper, certainly. So you'd have to uh, translate that, that would translate to here. If you can get the same, the exact same angle, like then it'll translate to it. And pop out of the page, here you go like a 3D uh, image of this uh, spring scale, but only at that one particular angle. All right, so I'm gonna take a look around class and see how you guys are doing.